Hi, you're watching Black Hollywood Live. I'm with the stars of the new show, Crisis. Yeah. <laughs> I have Jillian Anderson with me right now and Dermot Mulroney. Thank you. Good. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? Good. Happy to be here. Tell us all about the show. Well, <laughs> it's fun the, to talk about it because is the plot about. is so intriguing and uh, original, I think. It starts with the kidnapping of uh, some elite uh, private school, uh, high school kids, including the president's son, in Washington, D.C. They go on a, um, on a school trip and the bus ends up being kidnapped. And um, so obviously the uh, government gets involved, Secret Service, FBI, um, and it, it ends up being obviously one of the biggest news stories. So you see the live feed of, uh, of yeah. this disaster happening before your eyes. And, um, and then slowly but surely, uh, we see the parents uh, um, I, I play one of the parents, Meg Fitch, uh, and you see the parents being contacted by the masterminds behind the plot um, because there are certain things that they want and these high-powered parents have the abilities and the facilities to be able to get this guy what he wants. So in order to get their kids back, they have to perform these things. And some of the things that they're asked to do are illegal and some of them are, um, uh, are just not very nice. And, um, yeah. And, uh, and so that's how it unfolds. There's also a relationship between myself and my sister, who's played by Rachel Taylor, who plays one of the FBI agents on the job. And uh, we haven't spoken for 16 years. And so um, this event uh, you know, slams us right into the middle of our dysfunctional relationship. And so we have to negotiate that. Now, this seems like a different role for both of you. You have such a long career and have such a diverse amount of work that you've done. What is your favorite part about playing the characters on this show? Well, I've never appeared on a television show as a regular, so this is the first time I, um, I get to do that thing where you uh, inhabit a character for a, a longer period of time than when you're doing a film. And uh, the storyline is not finished when you start. We know what happens now, um, which is awesome and kind of unbelievable how this story does unfold. It's really exciting. But for me, to play a character for a continuous amount of time and really inhabit his uh, thinking has been a blast. I play a, a parent in this show too. I'm on the bus, so initially I'm one of the hostages and in this uh, crisis situation myself. But then the plot twists. The twist, the real twist, which he's, he's like, I'm not going to tell you any more about the twist. We have been authorized to tell you anything that we want, but we don't want to. Yeah, because it would be more fun that way. <laughs> we can keep us. us keep us guessing. Well, we know when you don't. You know, how long is that? How, how often does that happen in our favor, you know? Yeah. Now, if you could play any other character besides your own on the show, what would it be? Oh, that's interesting. I'd play, I'd play, your, I'd play your character <laughs> for sure. in a second. She's yeah. got a great part, and, uh, um, and really we all do, and so many unexpected things happen. You know, Lance Gross and, and Rachel Taylor play this pair. He's in the Secret Service, she's in the FBI, and they are crushing it. Really a badass partnership. You know, we've seen it so many, uh, so many combinations over the years in television and film, and it's a great story when you have sort of uh, partners put together who don't necessarily mesh at first, and they're doing... Uh, uh, the best job with it. It's really fun to watch. So I'd, I'd play both of them. As well? Yeah. All of them. All Every, of them. Everybody. You know, one of these. <laughs> we actually have some of so those. So you do like that. a Mission Impossible almost. There are aspects yeah. of stories like Mission Impossible and uh, the Bourne identity. There's a CIA conspiracy in this that's woven into the other agencies of the federal government. And the whole thing's playing out moment to moment on television right before your very eyes. So How it's can you a, not watch that? A, I mean, I'm awesome. telling you. Well, I'll be watching, and I'm sure everybody in our audience will be watching, too. So check out Crises on NBC. Thank you guys for talking to us.